Understanding of commissioning is really vital for any automation engineer. And that's why you need to understand the process of a commissioning. What are the steps that are involved in commissioning process? That's very, very important for any automation engineer to understand. And that's why in this video, we would be talking about what is commissioning and what are the steps that are required to do PLC commissioning. Let's start with what is PLC commissioning. PLC commissioning is a series of the steps that are required to ensure that your PLC control system is in line with the design requirements. That involves series of the checks that are required to be executed in a commissioning process. What are these steps? We will shortly talk about that in detail. There are a few things which are really, really important for the commissioning. And one of that is field wiring checks. You have to look into each instrument connections that involve transmitters, sensors, limit switches, their connections to the PLC, you have to look into that. You have to ensure each and every connection with your field instruments that include sensor, limit switches, transmitters, control wall, actuators, motors, it's in line with engineering drawings and design. You have to physically check each connection and you have to do that connection properly. Once the connections are established and you're sure about that, the next thing you have to ensure our thing is done for each control panel, motors, and any other devices that require our thing, the our thing process is executed properly. Now is the time to set up a PLC and do different checks. We have to ensure our cable connections are as per international standards. The next step is to check the power supply. Power supply is needed to power up CPUs, input modules and other field instruments. We have to make sure that each equipment that requires power supply, power supply is properly connected. Now you have ensured all the instruments are connected properly. Now it's time to dive into the control program or PLC program and see how actually things are working out. So here you would be testing by using dif different PLC programming softwares that everything is in line. Every signal is green. We are getting all the values right away to the PLC properly and our program is doing the required job properly. We have to check the indicators in the PLC as well. If there is any fault that is over there due to any wiring or any other reason, we have to actually rectify that fault. We have to check protective devices and their settings. You would be checking each actuators, control walls and their connection with the PLC system. Then you would be testing inputs and outputs. You would be applying different tests to see whether your system is behaving normal as per the design or not. PLC program requires regular checkups, regular updates, and you have to see what is working according to your requirements and what can be improved. Through the continuous improvement process, you can enhance and make your program look better. Now you would be performing commissioning of entire system. If our program works as per the design, everything is going well. At that time, we have to do the handover process that requires different documentations to support the customer. This is the overview of a commissioning process. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Turn your notification on if you don't want to miss our future content. That's all for today. Until next video, take care and bye-bye.